Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. On December 2nd, the Gyeonggi Province Employment Foundation hosted the Show Me the Startup IR Pitching Day, an investment briefing joined by fledgling women and youth enterprises as well as social enterprises. This event saw presentations made by the representatives of 14 enterprises through metaverse technologies, including 3D virtual reality. Among these enterprises, those selected at the event will receive investor connection support from the foundation. Kyungi Province announced plans to launch a labor health right education program for youths next year in cooperation with the Association of Occupational and Environmental Physicians and the Kyungi Provincial Institute for Lifelong Learning. Geared to help third-year specialized high school students and out-of-school youths maintain their health, this education program covers subjects that career starters must know, such as safety and special worker health, as well as industrial accident insurance. According to the agreement, Kyungi Province will undertake education promotion as well as demand surveys. The Kyungi Provincial Institute for Lifelong Learning will oversee education facility linkage and operations. And the Association of Occupational and Environmental Physicians will provide education contents through affiliated doctors serving as instructors. The Kyungi Agricultural Research and Extension Services recently developed a new crab leg cactus breed named Can Can Dress. The crab leg cactus is also known as a Christmas cactus since it blooms during the winter. Offering excellent visual and reproduction values while also being easy to grow and distribute, the Can Can Dress breed is popular among horticultural farmers. Kyungi Province has installed graphic cultural heritage restoration information boards that convey descriptions of original structure appearances at eight cultural heritage sites in the province. Introduced as part of the province's cultural heritage promotion efforts, these information boards will help visitors better understand Kyungi's cultural assets. The locations that feature these new information boards include Hui Amsa Temple in Yangju City, the Byukje Guan local office site in Goyang City, Pasa Sung Fortress in Yoju City, and the UN Forces Cremation Facility in Yunchun County. Kyungi Province recently granted Good Enterprise Certification to 13 enterprises that contributed to the realization of social values. Introduced in 2015 to promote a culture of social responsibility and sound corporate practices among enterprises, Kyungi Province Good Enterprise Certification is granted annually based on enterprise contributions to society and the local economy. This year, 10 SMEs and three social economy enterprises were selected to receive this certification. Certified enterprises will be provided with marketing support of 18 million Korean won in total, in addition to the right to use the certification insignia and trademark for three years. Gyeonggi Province has secured national subsidies totaling 16.56 trillion Korean won for its budgets in the year 2022. This is the largest national subsidy amount in provincial history and marks a 1.1% increase over last year, including a local currency budget increase of 140 billion Korean won. The province plans to utilize the national subsidy swiftly so as to maximize implementation effects for related policies. Kyungi Province plans to conduct a special crackdown on the exhaust emissions and idling of large diesel vehicles during the third seasonal microdust control period. During this period, regulatory efforts will focus on vehicles that emit significant amounts of microdust, including trucks and buses, at locations with large concentrations of such vehicles, including bus terminals and distribution centers. Those vehicles that exceed emission standards will be ordered to undergo corrective actions, including servicing and inspection. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. 
We look forward to seeing you again next week.